I'm Brittany, this is Eddie, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today is episode 11 of Sense8. It's the episode before the finale. The last episode wasn't even the finale. It was just, you know, an episode that happened during the season. So I'm officially, like, balls to the wall terrified of this show and what the hell a finale could look like. And what the hell a run-up to the finale could look like. And now Riley has collapsed. So I guess we're just hitting play and finding out what the hell has happened to Riley. Sweet mother of God. The fucking beauty. This better be a metaphor. You're called to die. No, no, we're not. We're, we're not killing Riley. After everything that has happened, do you still want to marry me? Say it. Say it, Kala, babe. Ah! That's the problem with this show. They can just cut away whenever they fucking want because they know there are seven other interesting things happening. Got it! I'm done! Ooh! Ooh! No, no! No, 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 no! I am... Ooh! Fuck me. No, fuck... No, can we do without the machete? Also, can we get her out of prison already? Jesus. She signed things. Dad said things. To live with a mistake. Bullshit. You totally killed him. You totally fucking killed him. You totally fucking killed him! You never should. Ooh, you killed him to try to save your own ass. Oh my God. They found him. Yeah, found his murdered body because you killed him. <laughs> Call him a liar. You killed him. Thank you. Yes, beat the shit out. This is the one chance you got, babe. Beat the shit out of him. Yes, thank you. Yeah. They have him? Although you could fucking earn his loyalty forever if you saved him, but he's a piece of shit, then you're in the same position you were before. I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. Call me a bitch one more time. Oh. Son about to kill a lot of people. Son, son. Oh. See, this is my happy place. Really? You wouldn't be like, hmm, he just almost ended me and ended everybody around me. Maybe I'll fucking leave him alone. She brought him here. Oh, yes. no, no. I'm oh, sorry. I, this is the wrong this is the wrong room. I'm you I'm supposed to be in us. beginners uh biology. No biology 101. This is 201. I'm so oh, sorry. <laughs> In here. Nice guns. No, I don't have any weapons. No, dude, it's a bus. Oh shit. Oh shit. Die ah, two feet in front of you. Granted, you're both in moving vehicles. Well, bus versus motorbike, I like your odds. At least duck down as much as you can, peer over the steering wheel kind of thing. But that's let's macho. Run him the fuck over! Ooh! Ow! Almost good enough. I would have preferred a flattening. Going from that chaos to this incredibly stable, symmetrical shot is fucking cruelty. Where are you, babe? And how do we get you back? I'm an all-access kind of girl. Looks totally real, doesn't it? I figured it would buy us a little- What you tell them? Not too much, but they won't believe you. Fuck. Fuck. He's here with me now. Your head is getting on the next plane to Iceland. I wanted him on the next plane to fucking Iceland, but not like this, thank you! No one I care about will ever be safe. Thank you. 
how dare they know exactly the kind of fucking romantic drama bullshit that makes my entire life worthwhile. How dare they? Don't, don't you. That's how we go into the season finale. Holy shit. Holy shit. How is Wolfgang, like, not dead, frankly? How is Cathius not irrevocably fucked for the rest of his life because he's won the loyalty of a madman? How the hell is Riley supposed to wake up? Did she, like, did it, her memory become so vi vivid that her consciousness, like, literally slipped into it? Is that a thing that, like, sensates can do? Is Kala ever going to break up? I mean, if she doesn't break up the marriage, like, by now, then I don't even know what the fuck. Son is stuck in prison for, like, the rest of eternity. You know, Nomi is at least doing okay in that she's out in the world and she has Nita and she's being a hacker badass. Will is getting to help people, so that's kind of all right. Jonas has been turned, kind of, sort of. He's trying to get away with stuff on the down low, which I'm sure that, you know, what's his name? The big bad is really going to appreciate whenever he figures that out. Everything is so perfectly poised to go terribly fucking wrong. It's like going into a finale on fucking eggshells. This is terrible. I love it. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back very soon with the season one finale. And until then, please remember to take care of yourself.